What's good? My name is Christian Bachez and I'm an artist based in New York City, New York. And today I'm going to show you how I painted this. Let's jump into it. The first step was to take some gorgeous reference photos of my partner, G. I manipulated these photos to have that really warm light coming from the right side and that coolness coming from the left to have that sort of dichotomy. I'm using a 16 by 24 inch canvas that I stretched and I also drew some doodles on it with a red Posca pen. I then took a picture of my canvas and brought it into Procreate on my iPad to be able to align the heads exactly where I wanted them to be. I also roughly erased around the portraits, kind of making them transparent just so it's not as distracting when I'm painting. From there, it was back to the canvas. I used the black Posca pen to make these outlines and using this technique, I'm able to get perfect proportions. If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You know, it really helps me out, makes me motivated to make more videos and yeah, thank you. After that step, I put a really thin wash of blue paint over everything. You know, it doesn't really show, but you know, we out here. In my last video, I actually did a study of the right portrait and uh, I used a green for the background, which I didn't really like. So for this one, for the final version, I decided to go for an ultramarine blue sort of fade with white. Let's finally paint! As with most of my works, I didn't really have a plan going into this, so I just started working on the left portrait, you know, left to right, paint, painting normally, um, and just really blocking in everything. I then started working on the portraits, uh, starting with the shadows on the ones on the right, for some reason. So at this point, I really wasn't happy with how it was turning out, but you know, I still record the horizontal video for you guys. I then begin to add that sort of base layer to the other portraits to sort of build those up as well. One thing I was concerned about in these paintings was I didn't want the three portraits to feel different. I wanted them to be cohesive and have the same sort of skin tone and the same lighting. Um, and I found that really difficult. So I thought the way to do that was to, you know, paint them all at the same time, little by little. As time passed, I slowly fell into a darker place um, as these paintings just weren't working out. You know, in, in art, we actually talk about this ugly face, but I don't know, just the way the eyes were looking, the neck, everything just looked so off and I was so disappointed. I thought the way to get over this was just to continue to paint, but no matter what colors I added, everything just felt wrong. I tried switching brushes, mediums, I even tried drinking water, but nothing worked. Towards the end of this session, the imposter syndrome kicked in. What was I supposed to do from here? Am, am I even a good enough artist? Should I even continue this painting? I decided to step away from it for a week. Usually when this happens, I try and look at my favorite creators to see if they have any insight. Looking at some of these guys, I realized something, and then it hit me. I felt so motivated to continue going on because what if, instead of painting in layers, I painted like a printer? and little by little slowly carve out certain features. One of my favorite street artists, Jex, does this exact thing. He puts up his grid, he puts up his sketch, and then slowly chips away at it, little by little.
I put aside my worry of the portraits not looking the same and just painted what I saw. And it started working. I started focusing just on small portions at a time and that made me feel so much less overwhelmed. I was not worried about the entirety of the portrait, but just the small section that I dedicated maybe 15 minutes to. The portraits were then coming to life as I slowly mixed and painted and precariously put every brushstroke on the canvas. Each portrait took almost two and a half hours, but I was in such a flow state that I, I didn't even realize time was passing by. You know, we as artists get so worked up on if our art looks good to other people and if, you know, if social media will like it, but at least for me, I started art because I wanted to learn a skill. I wanted to develop this skill of mimicking life, of being able to paint something that you're seeing with your eyes using a palette knife and a brush. I was falling in love with oil painting and having so much fun because of this technique and I also decided to stop consistently shifting the camera or taking out my iPhone to be able to take videos for online. Coming to the end, I realized that I left the hair for last, which is usually one of the most difficult parts for me. But with my newfound confidence, I persevered through it and I made it work. Brush stroke by brush stroke and lighter color by lighter color, I started to build it up. After coming from such a dark place and from the imposter syndrome, I was so elated that these portraits were actually looking like my partner. I wanted to thank you for making it this far in the video. Uh, if you like this piece and like my work, please check out my website, my Instagram, and other videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you again, and I'll catch you in the next one.